Good afternoon, Yorktown, and welcome to the Corps. Today is October 28, 2015. The Corps is going red in honor of Red Ribbon Week at here at Trang Middle School. Now let's get a quick update on the afternoon weather conditions with our student meteorologist. Hello, Yorktown. I'm student meteorologist Sandina. The time right now is 12.30 and the temperature outside is 53 degrees. As you can see from the video behind me, we are experiencing light showers and the humidity is at 53%. Wind speeds are at 18 miles per hour, and it's a perfect day to stay indoors. Have yourself a wonderful day, and let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks for the update, Andina. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Amelia, and here are some jokes to remember the next time you're in a situation to tell some jokes. Who did Frankenstein bring to prom? His ghoul friend. What goes up but doesn't move? Stairs. I'm Amelia, and these have been the jokes of the day. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Nice job, Amelia. Now let's get to know a sixth grade student here at Mildred E. Strang Middle School. Hi, my name is Nick from Team E. One of my favorite things to do as a student is go and join clubs after school. My favorite subject in school is math because I'm, I like it, We're really, I'm really good at it, and it's just overall fun to me. Some of my favorite hobbies outside of school are video games or sports. Three words that would describe me are funny, awesome, and athletic. When I grow up, I want to be a Major League Baseball player, but if that doesn't happen, I want to be an architect. That's all about me. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now let's go improve your vocabulary with the word of the day. Hi, my name is Ryan, and welcome to this segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary. The word of the day. Today's word is unique. Unique is an adjective. Unique is defined as existing as the only one. Alone and singular are synonyms for unique. After I finally got to know Bob, I realized that his tastes in music were really unique. Unique. Can you use it today? Thanks, Ryan. Now let's go to our sports reporters with 6th and 60 Sports Report. Hello, sports fans. We're coming to you live from the studio at Strang Middle School with today's sports question. What impact will last night's loss have on the New York Mets? Let's see what some of our sports fans had to say. In my opinion, I think they will lose the World Series. In my opinion, I think the Mets are going to come back and win game two. In my opinion, I think the Mets are going to lose because in every, almost every World Series, the person who loses the first game of the World Series loses the World Series. My opinion of the New York Mets last night game where they lost is that it will bring down their confidence a little, but I still think they will make a comeback for it and win the World Series. That's today's 6 and 60. Let's take it back to you in the studio. Now let's go to Angelina with today's true or false. Hello. I'm Angelina, and this is true or false. True or false? Beaver's teeth can never stop growing. True. True or false? Ketchup was sold as medicine in the 1830s. True. True or false? Humans share about 50% of DNA with bananas. False. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Today in History. Hello, my name is Ethan, and I am going to share some facts and events that took place on this day in history. On October 28th in the year 1965, the Gateway Arch was finally completed. Based on this event, we are going to focus today's facts on the Gateway Arch. Did you know that the Gateway Arch cost less than $15 million to build? Did you know that the Gateway Arch House Foundation stuck 60 feet into the ground? Thanks for watching, did you know? Hopefully, now you know. Thanks, kids. In the spirit of Red Ribbon Week here at Strang Middle School, today is Wear Red Day. Colors, whether you realize it or not, are associated with different feelings and emotions. We are, were wondering, what does the color red represent to you? Let's see what the kids in the hall have to say. In my eyes, the color red has always represented the desire of something. Color red represents to me, do not do drugs. What red means to me is to not do drugs. Color red 
represents unity. Means to me kindness. What the color red means to me is responsibleness. The color red means to me making good choices. Color red represents to me the good choices in life. The color red represents good choices and being kind. The color red means to have heart. The color red means to me is to make good choices. Thanks, kids. Now let's go to the lesson of the day. Good afternoon, Yorktown. My name is Afika, and today's lesson is for math. Today in math class, we learned about adding and subtracting mixed numbers. Make sure that you rewrite the problem vertically when you're adding and subtracting mixed numbers. If the problem has unlike denominators, make sure that, that you find the LCD. Once again, my name's Afika, and this has been the lesson of the day. Let's take it back to the studio. Here at String Middle School, we do our best to be safe, responsible, and respectful throughout the day. Here are some suggestions on how you can help. Hello, Yorktown. On today's episode of Be Your Best, we're going to explore the following situation. You hear two classmates talking about another student you know. What can you do to help? I can tell them to knock it off and stop because I know the person. If I saw two students talking about another student, I would tell them to stop. If I saw two students talking to one another about another student, I would still tell the teacher. I would tell them to stop or tell the teacher. If I saw two people talking about another student, I'd tell them to knock it off. But two other two people talking about another student, I would tell them to stop. If I saw two people talking badly about someone I know, I'd tell the person that uh, they were talking badly about them. I heard two students talking about another student that I knew I would tell them to stop. I heard two classmates talking about another student. I would tell the guidance counselor and try to fix the situation. Thanks helping out, kids. Remember, the easy way isn't always the right way. When you're put to the test, try your hardest and be your best. Thanks, kids. That's our show for October 28th, 2015. We would like to thank all of our students who contributed to today's episode. Please join us again tomorrow, and until then, remember to be safe, responsible, and respectful.